Man, now I'm just thinking about all a whole bunch of things that happened. Like my biological mom, she continued to have children, uh, even though me, my brother, and my sister were taken away. I don't even know. Like they went back to Iraq with their biological dad, and I haven't seen or heard how they're doing since. There's so many secrets and lies in my life. It's a wonder that I'm still sane, honestly. And I really don't even think that like, that, that may be why I'm a bit nutty. <laughs> and a bit odd and strange and weird. Uh, yeah, I really think that's that's why. But uh, my my mother, my biological mother, had another baby. And this is how like mentally and emotional emotionally damaging and abusive this woman was to me she would she she told me that my mom had another baby i was so excited because she was like maybe i'll adopt her too it was a girl and uh i was so excited so excited and then i don't know i did something that made her mad i don't remember what it was i was a teenager so it could have been anything <laughs> But then she was like, yeah, no, I'm not adopting her. I'm not, no. One child is enough. Like, and it completely, like, that's just one of many examples of how my mind was messed with. It was just crazy. I absolutely, got, I should write a book. I really should write a book. But that's terrifying. Because this woman still exists. You know what I mean? Like, she's still on this planet. That is terrifying. <laughs> and then she told me that my biological family, my cousin that I was living with before she adopted me, didn't want anything to do with me, didn't want to talk to me. But then when I spoke to her, my cousin, as an adult, she told me that it was her that told them that there needed to be space so that we could bond and form a proper bond. Listen. <laughs> yeah, I, so many lies. <laughs> and there's no way to tell who it was actually telling the truth. Like, how, I, I don't know.